I can't believe it. Finally, gay people are real. Is that awesome? Happy Pride Month! Listen, we got a gay kiss. To ask for gay sex is the next step. <laughs> Natural progression. <laughs> Let Jill and Clive kiss first, please. Okay, I can make that compromise. <laughs> Kiss with tongue, at least. Uh, I sure hope Jill and Clive kiss with tongue. I hope she pegs him. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my god, what is my fucking laugh? I'm so sorry. I am so deranged. This game is doing things to me in, in ways that I, I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> Clive Sidship, the clid. <laughs> Almost found it. <laughs> Fuck, shut up. I need to shut up. I need to. I'm. I'm ending the stream already. But As an arrow, I hope they stay friends. Uh, I'm un unfortunately that ship already sailed. They were about to kiss. That means those guys are in love. Sorry, Arrow Ace Rep. Well, they could only be. They could be. They could be asexual. Who knows? Maybe they don't fuck. Who knows? Ah, tinnitus. Yo, that art is awesome. Yo, thanks. Oh shit. <laughs> well, if she doesn't fuck Clive, I will. True. B -b 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 yeah, you'd have to get in line. <laughs> They're fucking. R Thank you so much. Genuinely makes me always so happy when people enjoy my art. All right, let's go and copy all the things that we have here. I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. Achoo! Achoo! Ow! What is wrong with me? Ah. Uh... Uh, Dalmechia, Dalmechia. This is all in Dalmechia. And what do you mean, question mark, question mark? Urgent notice to all curse breakers due to the discovery of a fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins. All work in the region is to be halted with immediate effect, and all members are to proceed no further than the village gate. What is this? Oh, due to discovery of a fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins. The Rosarian ruins. Okay, I want to go to those Rosarian ruins. Where were those? Uh... <laughs> I'm about to go die, I think. Weast? Yeah, that's fair. Where were the Rosarian ruins? Uh, three reeds. Yeah, the dog has stats. 
Whatever the S rank is, it's gonna clobber me. It probably will. Uh, are these the... Are these the ruins? I assume they are. Lost plume. Arches. I don't know where the ruins are. The reeds. I, I assume these... This is the ruins. We'll figure out. Uh, can I level up the dog? I actually don't know. I haven't tried. Um. Doesn't seem like it. Oh shit! You can just... Alright. Well, what a cool... Uh... Yep. All right, let's get our little chocobo and let's go into the ruins. Come on, fly, Ambrosia. I genuinely don't know what's uh, what's hanging out in the ruins, but I'm willing to figure it out. I can walk from here. All right, let's see how much this thing is gonna fuck me up. I ain't got much, but what's mine is yours. Dude, imagine Advice. imagine if it's a Tom Berry. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Ready go? Faster. Dude, I fucking hope it's a Tom Berry. The only question is, where would it hang out? Those are fallen hunters. It's definitely not here. That's a bomb. Hello. Huh. Okay. Maybe I'm in the wrong area. Maybe I'm approaching this the wrong way. I would assume that this counts as the... Well, maybe I went to the wrong area. No mistakes. Is it maybe in this area? I don't think I've gone there. Well, there's a red moose. Huh, I guess it's... Is it not here? Then what? Okay, urgent notice to all Kersbergers due to the discovery of a fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins. We have lately been investigating. All work in the region is to be halted. All members are to proceed no further than the village gate. But where is the ruins? Well, they said the village, the dim, the broken hill. What are the ruins? The Rose Gate. What the fuck are the Rosarian ruins? Ride. 
I don't know where this fucking thing is! Maybe the castle ruins? Oh, wait. That, the bird! <laughs> Maybe you're correct. But we can't get there? Uh, it won't let us go there. Hmm. Much to think about. I don't know what village they're talking about. Cypress docks. Man. It's your village, you made it? should have told me, man. What the fuck? I genuinely don't know where to look. I don't know what it means by ruins. I was over here. I, I looked everywhere over here. Is it maybe... You just went to YouTube to try and find this one? Got tired? Am I... Is it at least here somewhere? Like, I'll, I'll give you permission to, like, tell me if it's at least here. Because I don't fucking know. I mean, it's in Rosario. <laughs> Fuck! I don't want to go and search the entire map. Ugh. I am in shambles. Welcome to an RPG. I don't want to start looking. I want to. I want to be given the answer immediately. <laughs> Ruins are also in shambles. I'm about to fucking cry. How dare you? Man, you guys are just like saying like, go fuck yourself, Shen. SMH my head. You guys are so mean. What the hell, guys? And I am sitting here- I am so kind to you all of the time. Dude. I'm like, I'm genuinely trying to think where. Because I actually don't, I don't actually know these areas that well. Exactly what I've. We're both looking for the same thing. I hate you. Well, actually, you're probably talking about the chocobo. Uh, I... No, this can't be right. Dude, I want to get my ass beat by whatever this is. So many ruins, though. <sighs> hey. 
There is ruins. But there's just begalo crabs here. What are they gonna do? Nothing. Ugh. If there is an east pool, is there also a west pool? I don't have time for you. Is that Joe Cattington? Mr. Joe Cat? Hi! I have been frogged. Dude, it's fine. I love frogs. Here's my question to you guys. You guys like trains? Thanks, Joe. Well, here you can't use... Like, you can't use shit here. I, can't, I like, can't use my magic here. So why would there be anything here? Wait, is this the thing? Wait. Be safe. You, this shit looks like the battle pass. Fuck. Well, it would be cool if I could find it. But I thought they said explicitly that things wouldn't be here because it's like a dead area. I'm just nervous. Put <laughs> leather noises, yeah. Your ASMR leather noises. Well, I can't go past here. That's like a fucking door. What the hell am I supposed to do? Ah, my brain. What the fuck? Is this ruins? Where are ruins? What the fuck are the ruins? Ah! Damn it! It's like I'm going on a wild goose chase. Is it a high quality goose? Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, we are hunting a mark. More like I want to punch that mark in the face. I don't fucking know where I'm going. All right. Is it is it here? Down here? Perhaps? Maybe? But these aren't ruins. No need to ride from here. Ah, fuck. Okay. Um. That's not a good sign. <laughs> well, it's a good sign, but also um, not a good sign. Maybe. <laughs> um. All right. What the fuck am I about to encounter? Oh, 
Okay. Those are just some spiders. Okay. Those are just spiders. Not scared. At least, not yet. Alright, what the fuck is hanging out back here? Oh. 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 Hey there. Ha 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 Ah! S-Rank! Oh! Hey man! Oh, this Jesus Christ! Ah, yo, 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 yo! Oh, wow! Oh, boy! Oh! Like taking no damage. Oh wow, I am so fucked. Oh, Oh. Too slow. Let's try. 
Oh shit! Dude, I had to fucking time those dodges so well. Oh my god. There's the Ori Calcum. Victory. Oh my god. Oh. There was a time when Ori Calcum was so abundant that I was using everything from armor and weapons to coins and cutlery. However, when the twins only Ori Calcum mine was finally exhausted, the trading price of the noble metal increased tenfold. Holy shit! Bad to sleep with you. I... I feel... a little proud. Ugh! It was like, yeah, it was like, what? Like, 11 levels ahead? Sheesh! Yeah, they're gay. There's gay people in FF16. Is it business or pleasure? Bahamut's fucking gay, dude. Is that all? And what? Can I saw I him do kiss a you? guy. Happy Pride. Dragoons, dragoons, and dragons are gay. Enough. Let's go. It'd better all be here. Happy Pride. Okay, yeah. yeah. What can I make with the Orichalcum? Um, I don't actually know. We can make the dragons, Dracus, Dracus Slayer bracelet because we got the gelatinous mass. So we can totally make that. No scratches, right? But I don't know what the Orichalcum is used for. Um. That it? I guess I don't. I don't have it unlocked yet. I don't think I was supposed to fight that thing. What do you need? Probably, maybe. Sandfordian, dear. So in reinforce, we have like, yeah, we have nothing that again. It? Fine. I still can't believe it. That's so funny.
All right, which means we can now look for the other three S-Ranks, which are all in Dalmeki. We're seeing troops amassing at every door. Again, what the fuck was happening oh, yesterday? I wasn't expecting you back this so fucking fast. game is insane. Ability points. Holy shit, 800 of them. Best of luck out there, Sid. Eight hundred of them. I really want to master these because, um, so we can master this. We should be mastering this. We can master. We should probably master the the thunderstorm. <laughs> Urban fury. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, we could have also gotten one more limit break. Yeah, let's go with the... Actually, let's go with the AoE with the pile drive. Uh, we can also upgrade the Pline Justice. Big upgrades! Big upgrades, people! Uh, I have Ifrit... Phoenix, Garuda, Titan, and that's it. I, 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 I have a theory of what we're gonna get next, and I'm not ready for that. Um, but yeah, we gotta go to Dalmeki. Or Dalmekia. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we might get Shiva next, but I don't know. Dude, Jill has been waving death flags, like, everywhere. So, where was this? We need to go... It's interesting because we actually haven't gone to a lot of areas here in Dalmechia. I don't even know where the empty hovel is. We have a lot to explore here. The jaw. I don't know where the empty hovel is. Hangs drip. That's what you get for having an entire fucking empty desert. Nothing. The cattery and the jaw. So we have something here in the jaw for sure. Take a sniff, good sir. Uh, warm from the oven. Thanks, oh. man. Where's your man? Made from the stoutest stoneware. Have we found out why Clive's mom is a meanie? Dude, we de there doesn't need to be a reason. She's just a bitch. At this point, I don't give a shit about the reason. She's an evil fucking bitch. Run like the wind. the most in this game so far? Uh, yeah, probably Clive's mom. Also, that, that one twink that is with the Odin, that dude gives me, like, weird vibes. Oh, whoops. You deserve a rest. Hey there, man. Why are you killing chocobos, you fucking degenerate? I, 
I I, I say as I do the same thing. <laughs> My blade yet hungers, so do I. Come, let's feast the flesh. Your feasting days are over. Whoa! What the fuck was that stream? What is wrong with you? Oh, goodbye. Ow. So fucking weird. Uh oh. My drink and goldfish and ready to watch another awesome fucks this stream. Dude, it feels so good. The combat is just so smooth. It just feels really good. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. Anyways, sucks to be you. Time to go back. <laughs> Time to continue our little history lessons. Dude, the variety is your fucking... Is your entire move pool. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica 
suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Hey, listen. Orcs, I did not destroy several biomes. I just needed the XP, dude. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both... Kupka died? Dude, we fucking demolished Kup... Kup... Kupka... Kup... First... First we spit on him by cutting off his hands. And then... And then... If we just, like... Chihuahua bit his toes off. Cool. You'll see. It makes no sense. It does, actually, Do you know Clive. the tale of the blind men and the adamantus? One can often yeah. be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Yeah, we did the use his own of arms to hit him. Takes dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by. <laughs> I forgot. You're right. We did cock him in his mind. <laughs> we did a. We did appear naked in his dreams, kissing his girl. Bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Fighting his girl, in 865. right. The Battle of Bellinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin. Wait, does that mean he thought of Clive in his underwear? Naked. Naked. <laughs> it was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword Never to heard of mind cucking before? Battle you should watch Rent a Girlfriend. Of the <laughs> Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet that Warwick was- Williams that's the joke! Was the Dude, that was a joke! That was a joke! It was a bad joke! So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Walud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the Royalist betrayed Kupka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his What reports. element is Odin, bastard? Well, not quite all in your case. <clears throat> the people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are... All of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. 
Yeah, we're just running around like screaming. He's dead! He's dead! Hey, have you heard he's dead? Yeah, he's, he's fucking dead. Hey, have you heard? He's fucking dead. Hey, I know you're like carrying that. Are, have you heard he's dead? <laughs> Dude, it was so wild. Ah, Clive. Have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Cooker is dead. You know what I really like about this game? I really like about this game that, like... I think I said it last stream, that this game isn't like, oh, sunshine, oh, you know, with the power of friendship, Clive's, Clive and both Jill are just like, we're gonna kill a guy. <laughs> Really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is <laughs> big baby. The children are cruel. And with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. All right. Brilliant. The kids are like, what the fuck is happening? Yay, no school! <laughs> Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hypocrisy. Dude, it's just so funny. It's like, you know that meme of like, you matter. Uh, tomorrow will be a better day. And then like in the middle are Clive and Jill, murder is okay. <laughs> After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who had. I just want to know why Joshua doesn't just talk to Clive. There's probably a reason for it. Especially now with the fact that he has Ultima sealed within him. I think if, jo if Joshua is close to Clive, I think that would just end in disaster. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. Yeah, I think I think Ultima is a fucking being. Yeah, like a a being, an otherworldly being. Yeah, it's just it's it's a concept. I don't exactly know what Ultima is trying to do, but I think it's just it's trying to get a body. It means a lot. Even though or like a host, something like that. It kept going on about that. Probably an ultimate being that wants to eradicate the world. Like always. You know how it is. Thanks to Sid. <laughs> well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Cooper is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders then. Good. Start to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. All right, you have new items, and I want to look what that is. And what can I do for you? The enhancer. Oh, it has more damage. Though a savvy merchant would have you believe that through arcane magic, you get into the sword. 
Uh, it wields lethal experience, enhanced strength, and dexterity. And triple reduced weight and increased hardness, afforded by the weapon's narrow blade. I don't know if I. I kind of like the. It's like not a very good trade off. No. Magic is a big part of the combo, so. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Kukra is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. Dude, everybody fucking hated that bitch, which is good. This is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. I mean, he did br kill everybody in the old hideout, so I can't really I'll say that. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong, the wicked so witch is dead. Me. Clive, what do you want? We need the diamond sword. But how do we get the diamond sword? White worm bone. How am I meant to do that then? Where the fuck do you get that from? Well, we can get the enhancer, which has not more, not more magic, but it has more damage. Plus, we have the materials, so it's like not. Not bad. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And we... Oh, we can already... Oh, we can enhance it. <laughs> Yay! My best work, but it'll do. Let's fucking go. Cool, cool. That one's still stronger, but we need the diamond sword for that. Which means we need the white worm bone. But I don't know where you get the white worm bone from. And sounds like a sounds like a dragon that I need to find. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. We're seeing troops on our side at every border crossing. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something? Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. A no. weirum. Sorry, a weirum. Right everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. Aww. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers. Trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Uh... Fancy a look at the list, do you? Yeah. Quick look. Oh, I can just... Uh... Oh my god. Do I... <sighs> Well, the grave's gotta wait, guys. <laughs> Hello. Good day to you. See. My ass wants to do side quests, baby. <gasps> the crystals. We are to dig a new cellar. Hey there. How's it going, Quentin? Ah, Clive. Your timing is exquisite, as always. I have a 
concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Let me kill them. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Sure, yes, I love it, thank you. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right. I will. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> Let's right. talk to some people. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. I'd better find out if this is just nerves or something we need to take more seriously. It's probably just a bunch of rats. You right, Sid? Something on your mind? There is, actually. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, that. No, sorry, can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but... None of them has seen anything either. All right. Thanks anyway. We're plotting your downhill climb? What oh, the fucking rats. The rats, they speak. Shoo, you fucking creatures. Shoo, shoo. Gonna pepper spray yeah, the chat. There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Oh. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it. Screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me. And I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Okay. That's not a shattering. Since Lorbert's pass is our best bet, then. Oh. What do you say, Togo? Shall we go and investigate? I guess I shouldn't. I, I didn't have to ask the other person then. Well. <laughs> Fucking FFXIV quest lines. I think it's so funny. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Oh, shit. You there. Fuck. <laughs> Get them before they escape. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> shields. Here. Hey, man. Do you guys like what trains? What are you doing here? What is it to you? Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't live here alive. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, do you want your friend? Here, more trains. Let's fucking go! 
Dude, I feel like I'm fucking stupid because on Twitter I saw people like do like air combos like crazy, and I'm sitting here always like fighting on the ground. Why were they here? Are they planning an attack on Lost Wing? I need to warn Quentin. You're right, we do have trains. Good girl. Run like the wind. Are you a DMC fan? Uh, I've played them all. But I'm not very good with air combos. I can walk from here. You're just really down to earth? Thanks. This is a train build, not an airplane build. Have I been on a train before? What kind of fucking question what is can that? I interest you in today? I hope it's to your liking. Clive. Yes! How goes the hunt There's for trains our like trains is like the main source of movement here in Germany. Hiding near Lorbert's Pass. That's how I got to school They're every day. Now. Like shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds, though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Oh. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sanbrac. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? <sighs> I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. Cool. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more... What the fuck?! He had my entire family slaughtered, and he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones, my livelihood, my position, the faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. Oh, Jesus. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lost Wing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And... Everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades. And our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides how numerous and well-trained his guard. 
What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. <laughs> All right, nice side quest, I guess. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I'm not going to change his mind. I assume there's going to be a part two once we reach more of the, uh, more towards the middle of the story. We gotta go. We gotta go here. Bye. Yeah, it's a side quest. You know, the thing that's super boring that everybody, like, says is, like, super slog. The finest fabric. Take a sniff, good sir. Oh, oh, drug. Gone, just like that. And without so much as a buy your leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? Sure. I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Delete the inevitable. At Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. I still want to put my face in Clive's tits. cool if if Clive would let me put my entire face into his tits I think that would be pretty fair no Clive for some reason Clive is like a character that is not blender material like it's not, it's not like Chai or Reagan. Clive is just like, coddled baby boy. Who's going through quite a bit. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Fred Wardo, thank you so much for the sub. Yeah, he's, he's, I want to marry you material. Be safe. Hey man, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm jumping for joy! Yeah, man. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? Okay. I'm certainly not a baker. Master must have ruled the day he took me in. All right, way to time a dump, dude. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the mother crystal. Damn. Oh, I hated her, <laughs> but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years, and when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. 
I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. But I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. Okay, dude, you, the you only need therapy. Thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. What the now fuck is gone. wrong with you? She's never coming back. What is fucking wrong what with you? What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Because of a mother crystal? Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Recapture it? I'm a baker, not a... You know... You might just be right. <laughs> make, make some depressed bed or something! I've I have to get back to the bakery right away. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You have opened my eyes. Wait. Accidental therapist Clive. <laughs> All right, that's it. We're stopping your depression. Just stop. The most fragrant herbs and spices. Ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's Balm. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. Just look at it. Uh. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. Uh. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang? Without her crater. Why? No fang at all. And look, inside. She's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Ah. Uh... Salt crystals. Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the fang. Uh, well, if it tastes off as unique as it looks... I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> ah, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. With salt like that? Oh, nah, you did it. But you have my thanks. Goblin coin. Goblin has way. Oh, God damn it! Shut up, me. You're so fucking annoying. I do want to see if I can already go and explore no, the other areas. Oh, where's your made from the stoutest stoneware? I still want to see a tonberry. Oh, I just a small little goblin. Diver, you've got some fucking birds. Cool. I don't even have good items. Someone in the chat is possessed by an owl. 
some jokesters on our hands. <laughs> Damn you silly little guys. Oh, look at these. These fucking dogs. Oh, they're ranks. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Big tiger. Hey guys, do you like trains? Dude, you know that I have... Do you guys like trains? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, I'm just gonna kill all of the dogs. Killed with the train. Awesome. Okay, so when does a dog boss show up? Because that clearly wasn't it. <laughs> that wasn't too bad, was it, Toggle? No, no, it wasn't. It was actually pretty okay. Wait, hold on. Item. What do we got? What do we got to Wait, nope. No, 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 no. Go back, go back. Clive, 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 Clive. I see that item up there. Okay, how the f- 
Ah. Nice. And up here just to... Oh, sea chest! And we got a meteorite. Yippee! Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just like, um... I'm just delaying the inevitable now of going to see Sid. Everybody's like, Shag, to fight. go to the grave! And I'm here like, no. I don't wanna. <laughs> Is that? We have another distraction. It's a little cat. Rascal. Rascal? What's up, little guy? Hi. Are you a sleepy little boy? Yeah, come here. Wanna say hi to the chat? Oh. You wanna say hi? Hi, Rascal. What's up, little man? You were sleeping next to me today. You were really sleepy, weren't you? You were purring a lot today. I'm petting the boy for you. I'm also gonna quickly close the door again. Because, uh, or else I'm gonna have noise complaints. My cat is so needy. Such a needy little guy. He wants all the attention for himself, chat. He doesn't think you guys deserve my attention. Are we gonna top the Titan fight? Dude, I don't fucking know. But, dude, we might fight Odin, so I think there's our answer. Oh shit! Oh, this is big! Oh look! More gazelles, more chocobos. Yeah, we're in a savanna. Savanna. Oh, there's another. Uh, what are those called? Fuck, I forgot. Look at them. Big horn. There you go. No mistakes. You deserve a rest. What level are you?
faster. Hello. No need to ride from here. Wait, why? Well, what do you mean, why? What, guys? Hello? Okay. Hmm. Wonder why the chocobo made me. I wonder why Ambrosia got forced. I got forced off of Ambrosia. Weird. Does this count as a different area? Oh, I guess it does. Old pizza. I guess that counts like as a like a small town for some reason. Ready, go. Run like the wind. Is that a coral? Hello. No one won't. That won't be easy. I immediately parry it. Okay. Okay, this coral's kind of getting demolished right now. Oh my god! This just isn't fair at this point. What the fuck am I doing to this thing? Okay. Oh, there's another one of those guys. Oh, I can't go those ways. They don't. Oh, that fucking sucks. Well, we did the jaw. Oh, we also did. We did the cattery. And now we just need to do empty hovel, but I don't know where that is. Oh! Wait. Wait, what? It's so small. Straight home now. Oh, are those the thi- wait, what? Oh, is- I guess- I guess it's over here. It's- it's these bugs. Oh, we're gonna fight a bunch of bugs. There they are. Wait. Sorry? Uh... Okay. They don't look happy. Oh god. These, these guys are kind of...
Yo, oh my god! Okay, we did. All right, now we can continue our. Uh... <laughs> we got all of the notorious marks. Cool. Peace at last. All right, we got all our marks done. So now we can actually go and continue. Uh... Main quest scenario. Oh my God! I just call it MSQ. This really is Final Fantasy fourteen. All right. <gasps> Wait, I got letters. Never mind. Letters are more important. Sorry, I just had to think about what I just saw for a moment. A desert alliance. Oh shit! It's from, uh, from him. Sid the second. I trust you will forgive me for putting you and your dear uncle to the test. I am confident a man of your position can understand the importance of earning one's trust, especially in times like these. For what it is worth, you now have earned mine, and I can assure you it shall not easily be relinquished. May this be the start of a fruitful relationship. See, even he's fruity. He wants the fruitful relationship because he's fruity. I heard what you told Nan about Kupka. Hopefully all our old friends can rest easy now. Clive. Hey. Uh, a hug, if possible. Anything else? No. Say that one more time and I'm banning you. Well, don't just stand there gawping. You just made me, like, Come visibly again. upset. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. I arrived to hear he's fruity and for a moment I'm, like, rude. Why would that be rude? Do you hate gay people? We're seeing troops amassing in every My mans hate fruits. I, I see. Help, Homophobia at this time of day, located. <laughs> Hi. All right, Clive. What do you want? Ah. Uh, I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal. <laughs> Displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. <laughs> Me God and my dad damn. designed it together. Oh. Where all the vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water. Ours is fitted with mithril engines. 
And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood. And more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> Clive. Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. Clive would love First play Final Fantasy XIV. I need some parts, Mekin. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Oh. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. We're just forcing a crafter, like, we're asking a crafter to make to us, him. like, a, a, a week one Luckily, you uh, gear set. To... Thank you so much for the sub, by the way. Hope you enjoy your stay and I hope you enjoy your emotes. Ah, uh, I could have gone the other way around. <sighs> Clive is a dark knight who occasionally plays summoner. True. Oh, right, we're making submarine parts. Wow, look at all these hunts that I killed. Cool. chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. Spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. We're just giving him a huge... Oh god. Gregor's Tate. Yep. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. Who's teats? Hopefully Clive's. So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Cool. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valcroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Oh, well, fetch quest! We split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. But how have I already been streaming right for two hours? Well, make your minds up who's going where. We can get this over with. What have I been doing for two hours? I've done fucking nothing. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? I'm gonna take Gav. I want... I want Gav to be... Uh, silly. Gav, 
You're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dallamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. Bye. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I like to see him try. In your own time. All right. Sounds like this river we're looking for is south of the Dalamil Inn. I'll hire us a wagon and meet you there. Cool. Awesome. Yay. I don't mind if I I don't I don't know if I mind the fetch quest. Um, listen, as an MMO player, I don't mind them either. But um <laughs> I've said it before, I can see how it is for those who do not like MMOs. Looks like I found the river. No way is Gav. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Sorry, I was just hopping Better my way over here. Never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dallamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about, just begging oh. to be <sighs> Then let's get bagging, shall we? Oh, my back hurts. We shall. Raise <sighs> What? No! No, you won't! I'm faster! Shut up! Yippee, I'm jumping for joy! So this is Stardust. Just stood for black sand to me. Ed, okay. Cool. <laughs> Yippee! All right, where the fuck is the last one hiding? Aha! What do you mean, no? That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. I'd honestly love to go there for a swim. Would probably get taken by the current and die. Unfortunate. What did you get? Enough. I hope. There you go. I I got like five pinches of of it. Oh, but it's enough. Oh, you win. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, oh, do you mind if we have a chat? Sure. What is it? Oh.
Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours start to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Or says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. This is kind of gay. Thanks to you. Th this is... Flag question mark? <laughs> That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Gay pondering. Right. Ready to go home, boy? No. Barf. Bark. Bark, bark, barf. Yarf. Bark, 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 bark. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Hello. Blackthorn. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. Pork, 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 homosexual pork. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. We did it. But that's only co quest one complete. Great. Letting off steam one. How many more steams are we letting off? Suppose we'd better be getting back to work, too. Give us a shout if you need anything. Okay, How much want? steam are we talking? A lot. So much steam. Anything else? The gay sauna. Yeah. So are the quests basically an excuse to have steamy conversations with your party? Yeah, pretty much. started reading books that don't have any pictures in. Analak lived a queen in Goblins 3, but Heatnot did the goblins their queen and so, full of wrath, did she banish them to shore where they supped on mud till their lips turned black and they begged to return. And good of heart, the queen she did take them back. Editor. Why would anyone want to do that? You tried. I have done it, Sid. I have learned all the letters, every one. Ah. It was good effort. If I don't come up with something soon, you'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. 
Excellent. One down, two to go. Oh, fuck. So, what's next? Please. The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. You sure? That's just, that just exists? What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Uh, Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. What's Excess her heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. I miss now, the gay people. Were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. Oh, this great. is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb Ugh. levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. Ugh. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Ah. If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. <laughs> I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I... Let her info dump! should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. I hope... I hope that whoever I'm with in the future lets me info dump about Mob Psycho. <laughs> That would be awesome. I think Mid might need some help tidying up that Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Let's see what I got. Come to claim your just desserts. The Bearer's Plight. I get two meteorites. You earned this. Few are those who would strive to lighten the burden borne by the Crystal's Curse, but if we are to survive the coming storm, we must stand together, Bearer and Brother, as you have shown us, a friend of Northrage. Come again. I may have more for ya. We're seeing troops. Okay. We are going... Up there. Yippee! I still want to see a tarn barrier and a sabotender. Take you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. Oh shit! They're preparing. Right, because of the. All right. Yep. Cool. I want to see Clive in high heels and fishnets. Yeah? You know what you have to do. Do you know? If you're ready. Hmm. Ready? We leave at once. Are we leaving for here? No, wrong way.
I am a little... I'm a little stupid with maps. So, wait. What is... Oh, it's <laughs> fucking stupid. That's a cellar! Alright, let's fucking go! Ah, yes! The dramatic music is so gone now. Run like the wind. God, again, I am so sorry for starting my stream super late today. I literally just fucking eeped. Time to fight. And then I like got invited to eat barbecue with my uncle downstairs. Sid, um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Sure. Of course. I'll be right back. Alright, let's see what the creature is. I still at one point just wanted to be a Tonberry. Anybody home? Oh! It's a fucking Ari man again. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. Okay. Oh, in case you haven't fought. At least it didn't cast level 5. Uh. And there we go. <laughs> Look at that fucking thing. It's screaming. Things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. I think Rascal wants in. The Eye of the Warrior. Only those who have stood in battle can know its boon and its curse. Hmm.
All right, let's uh, let's do the last one. Starts fucking passing away. Dude, I still want to see. F I, I just, I know I'm annoying. I really, 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 really want to see a Tonberry. So badly. We're seeing troops amassing at every border. I also want to fight a behemoth. We know they exist. We've seen their horns. Give me a behemoth! I think Mid might need some help. If I don't come up with something soon. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shielding. This one's a bit of a bugger. Yeah. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Yeah. Right when I'm away. not looking at the subtitles, I literally don't understand what ha half what she says. It's amazing, yeah. But I only I don't understand because so many big words, and I'm very stupid and have a very small brain. I feel when I have the same accent as her. Aww. Ugh, I'm never drinking. Hello. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive, always. Ah, well, thanks. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Bro, that could be any part! <laughs> For a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside We're not to set pass. the ship alight. Oh, wow. While also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine. At timber and steel alike. <laughs> Could it be like yet, dragon scales or we something? We have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of. <sighs> pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. 
Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. Well, so if we could recreate it, it might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obolus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use. Are we fighting a dragon? The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Oh, hi, Jill. How's it going? So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. Another Yo! Researching hub. Thanks, Ruinous Pass. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. Wait. You're I'm gonna be sure our party member? Either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands. Wait, no, wait! No, wait! No, wait, no! Don't make me choose between. Wait, this is evil. Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. We could have done with some of that on justice. Obviously, I'm gonna take I doubt Jill I with me. Survive that place with or without it. A trip to Northreach, though. I think either of us could handle. I I need to take Jill. I can't. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? I I want. Oh fuck! I should give her a break. But I want her to be with me! Oh fuck! Shit! Ah! Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very edible i would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic though these items may seem mundane they have potent effects that are rarely exploited effects for which they were once highly prized so much so in fact that they were harvested almost to extinction hence moon dews having fallen from favor now of course they can be obtained with ease you should be able to find everything you need at the market in I... <laughs> is that so I, I I've want been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. Can we kiss? I will. Sorry. <laughs> Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Poppy Buns gifted a tier one sub to Soft Pom. They Thank have you given so twenty gift subs in the channel. Thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, um. Uh, I am so sorry that I'm so annoying. Now, where's Jill? And what can I do for you? Um, and a fine, fine day to you. There's talk at the glass gate. I need to find Jill. Where is she? Keep them pilchers nice and chilled. Oh, there she is. Hello. Are those pepio nuts? I can never tell. The, that's bread. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. 
We can meet by the gate when we're finished. I don't know what a pepio nut is. Up. You'll not find a bruised Fresh cuts. Come and get them with What can I interest you in today? Oh. Okay. I trust it's all here. Keep cool. fighting the good fight. Okay. Oi, don't touch anything. Go on. The edible Take fruit it. of the pepio plant is prized by chocobo breeders. Although the superstition that has lent it lends a studded bird additional stamina seems largely found on its blushing, swollen form than any quantifiable result. I don't <laughs> That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Did you find everything? Yeah. I did. Here. Uh, here we go. Garlic for the vampires! Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? You're so cute! Can we have our kiss now? <gasps> Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith? Taking in the sights and smells. <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, so he sounds like he's about to cry. That is just what Clive is. He always sounds like he's about to fucking start weeping. Of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. <gasps> I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just. Oh. You're right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they're so cute. It's just. Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Please. Live. Huh? Tell me that you love me. I love you. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No! I love you! No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. And we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Don't. Don't. You... You fucking bastards! Sorry. Well, I suppose we better be getting back. God fucking damn it! I need it. to give these ingredients to Hippocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. This was the most romantic area we could have ever been in, and you didn't fucking. <sighs> I hate straight people. Just fucking kiss already. It's bait. Is getting on with yeah, the I know. Here. Yeah, Jill, you better fucking kiss him or I will do it. I 
I've never rooted for a straight so much in my life. Up, <laughs> well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway. Under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. You know what I always think? It's like, oh man, I fucking hate this trope. I hate this trope that people are just not... They know that they're in love, but they're just not getting together. And then I realize I'm that dense. <laughs> Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. Oh, I'm like, huh, maybe it's not such a fucking right fictional then. trope. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, <gasps> thank you. It was nice just being with you. We should do it more. Did you just wink at me? It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Arbocrates. Please, let's just sit, sit now. Please. It's re literally reality, which is why oh. people hate it so much. I'm people, same. I better go and give Mid the good news then. Man, Dakuni, I don't want to be mean, but let us please have fun. Like, <laughs> at least a little bit. <sighs> Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it? In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. I also love it when an MF couple exists in an overwhelmingly not straight way. No, what I, you mean? I I assume you mean in a way of like it's like pushing into like your face of oh we are such a couple. Oh we are so together. Oh we are just because we are woman and man we are meant to be. I sometimes like I. Uh, <coughs> On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabing. <laughs> do do do. 
One down and just three more to go. Oh, jeez, here we go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and oh. one we'll a displacement stack for each. You don't mean. <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Oh, thank God. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in? Keep it to yourselves, eh? Can you go see your dad now? Can we can we go see your dad now? What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want, I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right, my mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Okay, awesome. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. <sighs> fuck. Fuck, 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 are you kidding? Are you fucking kidding? You goddamn bullshit, stupid fuck! Track the crystal too. Shit, fuck, dumb, stupid fuck, shit, damn it! What is that? What is that? Are you kidding? I was thumbing through the hideaway ledgers at Autumn's behest and might have come across something that might need your attention, maybe, and by that I mean immediately. You know where I'll be. Trouble with the ledgers? Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? We have two more letters. Oh! Something ain't right with the hound of yours. When it pleases your lordship, come pay me- Wait, what? What could be wrong with Torgor? You seen well enough when I last saw him. We got into the puppy quest. And then... <laughs> okay. Cheers for your help dragging Blackthorn out of the dumps the other day. Thing is, I reckon he's gone and thrown himself back in, judging by the dupe of his jo uh, jowls lately. So I'm thinking maybe it weren't just the leather that what was on his mind. Maybe there's other demons jabbing the pitchforks into his pirates. I know you're a busy bloke, but next time you find yourself free, maybe we could go and ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered. Assuming he ain't just the forge. Ugh. 
FF-16 Aero praise. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. That's a lot of side quests. He's sad again. Oh, nor. <laughs> Ah, shit. Let's rock with Torgal. Your note. Hi, Tessie. So you can read. Congratulations. <laughs> but I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some weren't right. He's not been eating my treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled ground, mm. but now he won't so much as look at him. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his man's on summit else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? What was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. Right. I suppose things have been different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Perhaps. You doing good, boy? Get Torgal a dog! Dog needs a dog! Lawsman. I need to ask you about Torgal. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? Huh? If Torgal turns out to be a dominant, I'm leaving. Um, you're a bit... You're, you're a bit late on that one. <laughs> he's... He's a dominant of Fenrir. <laughs> I think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. Which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I rather <laughs> think she might be right, though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within, and I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain... He wants more bones. It may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals, whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. He's hungry! <laughs> might find a suitable substitute. Some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. We're making it so, a <laughs> fucking... It seems like a good place All right, to time to make them extinct. Good hunting, Clive. Yippee, we're killing antelopes! Awesome! Alright. Oh, there's another quest over there that's plus. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. <laughs> August Sorry. was worried about you, and you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. <laughs> something else weighing on your mind. Cuirass. Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well, Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single-edged blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. 
You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you? Nah, no, no, no. They're not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thanks. Thank you. Dude, I'm so see what fucking... Karen knows about this sword. Dude, I'm so fucking annoyed at people on Twitter. Why well, am I not? You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? Out with it. <laughs> I want to know about the sword you show Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignax, the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favorite clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dalamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh. And he's... a touch eccentric. If you take my meaning. I appreciate the warning. I'm gonna start ripping out everybody's throat in my fucking axe tweet. That's what I'm going to do. I'm so sick and tired of people. Where the, uh, I wish I could take one. Down there. I made it. So I made a tweet. Uh, so basically, I was like looking at FF14 Twitter yesterday, which don't do that. Bad idea. Um, but um, there was like a tweet that was like talking about give me your most hated Final Fantasy XIV class. And a lot of the people responded with, oh yeah, that's easy. Uh, my most hated XIV class, Warrior, because it's so fucking boring. And I'm sitting there, uh, and they were like, oh yeah, axes are so boring. Shit. And um, it made me sad. I got really mad, and I was like, you know what? I don't trust people who say axes are boring. And now peop like, people are responding with, Yeah, axes are cripple. What do you think about this and this? And then there's also someone who's like, I've, I've responded to my tweet again with like, Oh yeah, no, well, they're not very creative. How about I rip out your face? Shut up. Here, Sid. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out of a bit of bother. What do you mean? Axes are not creative. What do you mean they're not creative? Long metal sword is creative. <laughs> if you remind him, let's hear it. Pointy stick is creative. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. It just shows that people have no fucking imagination whatsoever. I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. 
gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand... All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? I know that she can... She can kick things if I attack. I didn't know about the, uh... The holding the jump button, though. Oh, we have more hunt boards! Let's fucking go! Show me. The bomb sighting. Are you one of the hunt for the bomb king, Koopa? If so, I have a billet that might interest you. Alright, where the fuck is that? In the croc in Sanbarek! Well, we know where that is. Look, it has a crown! Awesome! You get my letter. Why are we whispering? That's here. <laughs> oh, don't we be listening? Is this better? A little. Listen, I have some bad news. It turns out the hideaway may be. Slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders. What? And it's maybe my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. <laughs> Zero, you might say. I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time. And I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I see. <gasps> there you are! What a surprise! So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. And I hope he'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive! <laughs> the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan? Why? <laughs> well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. <coughs> and, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million gifts. <laughs> five million each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see? And, well, uh, I must have made some sort of... Oh. ...insides. Those ledgers were my responsibility. And it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Rossfield's purse enough. After the king's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're gonna make this work. All right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How'd you fancy taking these to Martha and the dame? Rocks. Rocks. He says, worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. 
A little something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. Hmm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because... you'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. <laughs> well, I suppose this is goodbye then. Good. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Really? Do you think so? No. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Sorry. No, I don't. <laughs> Good for you. But, uh, yeah. Dude, I fucking love Clive. Yeah, I think he's genuinely like my favorite Final Fantasy. I almost said Final Fantasy 14 Pro Tag. Yeah, gross. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. Gone. The whole mother crystal. Gone. What are we gonna do? Calm yourself. We don't know for sure. It could have just been a tremor. Uh oh My reputation will be ruined! Ruined! Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you. Ignac! Before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time. And he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oath this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? Oath? I mean, Clive is pretty filthy, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That, Damn. <laughs> that's just how his lordship is. D Dude. The morning's events have left You look huge. Somewhat. Fractious. <laughs> He's been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went. I did not, no. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. Then that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence. And arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. <laughs> Sixty foot vertical kind of leap. Farewell. And best of luck. Thank you. Yeah, he's a dog that can jump real high. The finest 
most fragrant now, do some. Uh, is that where I need to go? No, that's Fang Strip. Um. Wait, I for. Um. Where did they? S what was? What was the area called? With the bomb, I already forgot. I know. Ah, shit. Thing, but do you? I gotta go back. Is that the thing Tomes helped to build? Mid told me she was building a ship. Yeah, the one time I didn't take a screenshot. Good job, me. Here we go. Wait. Uh, there we go. The Croc in Saborek! Sendorek! Fuck! Shit. Oh, we have to go fucking everywhere. Did the game ever explain why we can understand Moogle? Probably because we're dominant. I think that's what that's what it was implied. Ah fuck but ah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah, she does! You thought it's because you were the animal guy? No, I think it's because we are the dominant. Are we- are we- uh, uh, English is a hard language, that's for sure. Wait. What is over here? I love chocobos. Oh I shit. Can walk from here. No, I don't want to. Fuck. Let's go. The dog sounds, please. I'm sorry. I didn't decide on this. I am not the evil. Day of the Ep period. Huh? Carotene. Yo, thank you so much for the 16 months, I appreciate it. So what's hanging out over here? Hi. Good girl. Faster. Oh shit, this sucks. to fight. No, it's not. Where are we? What's over here? Scorpions. What else is here? Oh, fucking Drake. Let's go. Or a salamander. You deserve a rest. Come here, dude.
There we go. Damn. Okay. Well. Ugh, we gotta go the long way around. Come on. Fly, Ambrosia. Fuck. I love going through the desert wastelands where I can't see shit. I love sand! Look at all these quests I have! Help! That looks like a red chocobo. So fucking intimidating. You want a red comet hunt? I'm pretty sure it'll pro it probably exist somewhere. <laughs> Sorry. Imagine not unlocking Chocobo and playing trying to play the game like this. Wait, wasn't it part of the MSQ? No. No, it wasn't. It was a, uh, a plus side quest. Which is uh, a wonderful thing they've taken over from uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Blue quests. <laughs> Except they're green quests. With plus sides. We've got hey, man. Come on, now. let's tear the bastard's head off. Whoa, why did I just That was weird. Oh shit. Oh they're fucking Dude, I fucking love the up smash so much. It feels so fucking nice. Still so light into the game, too. This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Dalamil. That is our victim for the 20 months. I appreciate it. I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. Wow. A formidable name indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. 
All right. Carl, thank you for the Master for the Wyvern was wondering sword. if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. Wait, it what? It was made in the outer isles, far beyond the twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. What a way to just they tell mean, someone I'm going to sell no you. No combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke, and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. Ten thousand licks with the sharpening stone, then ten thousand uh. more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. Can we see A it? A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered, take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself, and a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. So it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Me trying to get every single piece of Mop Psycho merch out there. These other splendors! <laughs> Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis. Oh! Lord Byron Rosfield. But and is a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Of course. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. Well, shit. Rosfield? I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Okay, we need to find a fucking bomb still. We need to fight it at the croc. Or how I like to say, the cock. Where the fuck is the croc? We probably have to go through here. The jaw. I don't know where the croc is. I also do not... Well! <laughs> Sunbrick. Nindessa, thank you so much for the sub. All right, where is the cock? Uh, Arion's rise. All right, it's hidden somewhere. 
West Watch. Advent. I where's the cock? There is no cock here. Dragon's Airy. Is it down here? Maybe in the Imperial Chase? Me interesting again. There is no cock! Come on. Oh, I also gotta go back to the veil. Hmm. Wait, no, get back on the bird! Ah, fuck. Good girl. I'm going the wrong way. The way he says good girl makes me feel things. He says... Clive both says good girl and good boy. The bisexual agenda is strong in this one. Oh, is it here? Back to the stables, girl. No, this isn't it. But if this isn't it, what? This is oh, the croc. Guys, we found the cock! Why, hello there. Damn, you're ugly. Oh, you have a little- I love you! You have a crown. Uh... Oh, what the fuck? Wait, you don't have a stagger bar.
Oh, oh, oh. oh fuck! Um, um, ah, 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 ah. Oh fuck! Ouch! Oh, because I didn't pay attention. Time to fight. Oh, I'm so depressed. That's really fucking funny, don't you? the first time I'm so mad <laughs> your reign is over now to collect the ash I should wait what did he want like the stuff let's see if there's any more I feel so bad I didn't mean to interrupt him what did he say I 
should do it. The wine needs more than this. He can fetch it himself. Uh, oh, I should have brought a bucket? Oh, okay. I'm so upset a fucking bomb ended my gamer streak. I just you hear I'm so upset. I want to see you. What am I gonna do without sweet water and oil of talk? My lady, I come bearing gifts. Gifts? Whatever is the occasion. Here. Oh my. Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you. To settle the hideaway's debt with the veil. And to compensate you for the time it took us to do so. Oh, you disappoint me, Clive. I thought you might finally be warming to me. <laughs> Tell Otto he can keep his baubles. I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing, nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and willingly. It was the least I could do. You once told me Sid did you a kindness. I'd like to do the same. Please, accept it. For my sake. Aww. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. <sighs> It is rather fetching, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> That's sweet. Otto is lucky to have you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. But you and the others at the hideaway are the closest thing he has to family. Otto had a son. Great. Awesome. Woohoo. Long Great. ago. Yes. Sid told me Otto lost him when he was just a boy and blamed himself for not being able to stop it. I don't know how it happened, whether there was anything he could have done, but it was clear that it weighed heavily on him. I didn't know. How could you have? I doubt anyone did. Why is everyone in this Besides game so Sid, sad? Welcome. I've never met a man more keen to bear his sorrows in stoic silence. An ill habit, given that both have always been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. Yeah, welcome to Final Fantasy. Everything is sad. Hopefully you are too. <laughs> I wonder if the big antelope will kill me, too. I'm just so distraught now. So distraught and sad. I got bested by a bomb. Clive, we weren't expecting you. I wasn't expecting to be here. My career is over. But it seems we still owe you a considerable amount of coin for your help with our rebuilding efforts. And though I doubt it's what you were expecting, we were hoping you'd take this. This payment. I'm just... Guys, I just can't... I'm just so upset, man. I'm just... A star, Ruby. I can't accept this. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. Think of the difference as interest. Interest? If word got out I charged that much, no one would ever borrow from me again. Anyway... Why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending the Lord Marquis out to sell your debts, isn't it? The old goat working himself to death again. Something like that. Most days I think he's the only reason the hideaway's still standing. Same as always, eh? 
Back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander, word is he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head, the idea would never get off the ground. Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. That Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. But it must have hit Otto hardest of all. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated you as Sid's replacement. And rallied the rest around you. I reckon what he saw in Sid, he saw in you too. And don't we all? Doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as handsome, neither. Hey. That, and you keep good company. Thanks. <laughs> I suppose I do. Gobel will want to know the stones were delivered. If he's still with us. <laughs> yeah, bro's probably fucking dead. All right, let's get on the let's get on the bird. Hi, bird. Let's go defeat a big antelope. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, Clive is hotter than Sid, but just Sid's voice, man. Time to fight. Sid's voice. Woo! Oh, hey, Minotaur. Giant antelope, huh? I doubt we'll find one bigger than that. Oh shit. You hungry, Toggle? Dog's hungry! Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Sure did. Do I level up? Fuck, we're so close. Shit. No. Will it be enough, I wonder? Oh, he's so excited about a bone. I say that answers my question, which means we are the lawsmen, our things. That's like only You're one just a bone. big puppy, aren't you? A very big puppy. <laughs> you do know you can take that with you, Toggle. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you've got your appetite back. Come on, boy. He's my big puppy! My big little guy! <laughs> oh god, not again! Hold on! Oh, Look, we gotta leave back to the- No! Fuck! Now feel good, boy. Damn it! I was going to get to the hideaway, you guys suck! 
fetch. <sighs> when did you get so big? I'm going to kill you guys. This fucking sucks. I love petting the dog, but at what point do you guys want to be like, hey, we're repeating animations? How do you. Oh my god. Get it, boy! This is my fault? It is not my fault! When did you get so big? <sighs> After it. Imagine if there was a super rare pet animation. That would be cool. Do you like do you like me jumping, Torgle? That would feel good, boy. <laughs> and I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving home. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going back home. Fuck you. Fuck. We got stuff to do. Side quests to fulfill, and then since grave to visit. I noticed you and Togel had gone off somewhere. Took him for a walk, did you? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> so. Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? That'll teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. <coughs> all right, all right, no need to shout. Now we know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? There's five of them! Fevers! You can, eh? I'm nice like that. In return, you can thank Tomes for me. The bloody know it all. I was just on my way to see him. All right, good boy. Wait, do you have more stuff now? Well, don't just stand there gawping. A bone to pick. I don't know many fleshes who deal in cuts that size. Well, that doesn't mean I don't know some. Oh, you have like on, dialogue. Man. That's cute. Okay, these are all things that I don't actually care about too much. We also don't have. Hmm. We have so much no. money. Hello. Ah, Clive. Were you able to locate your quarry? Sure did. We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. And Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. Very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah. But that reminds me. After your last visit... I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Do you recall our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation? Mm hmm About how she somehow woke the power within him. Precisely that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought. But one which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you describe Torgal as having used. Ha! Huh. What are you suggesting? That Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. Ha! Huh. Consider that in addition to Lady Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, and even the late Sid. In short, the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor? have been diverse and plenty, and that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. 
one can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgul. He has seemed more fierce of late. And if I am not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. We are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh, he's more than an ally. He's a friend. Man, wow. We have a fucking strong ass dog. And we leveled up. We're now level 37. Nice. Slightly increases Torgal's attack potency. Ooh. But I'm bad with that kind of shit. I keep forgetting to use uh, commands. Okay, here you go. Sorry for the wait. But hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about our sword, then? I did better than that. Ah, shit, sorry. Yeah, it's a whetstone. Here you go. I... a whetstone? Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. I like that we're- it's just a fucking explanation animation from 14. No wonder I couldn't get a same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <sighs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the Curse Breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel. I could probably even make a twin of the plate that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the Curse Breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably. And that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy, nah. I'll make something much better. Awesome. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, sunshine. Okay. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. And I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. Nice. I owe you one. August 2. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. Nice. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. Nice. New sword, 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 new sword. More sword. Excalibur. Show it to me. What do you want? I can make it! It last you a good while. Sure fucking hope so! Anything else? Fucking Excalibur. This design is kind of ordinary. Isn't Excalibur just a very ordinary sword, though? All right there, Sid. 
How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. There you go. That's the stuff. And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then. Let's get this contraption up and running. Uh, the Telemon Malembic. And it works just like the Chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. <laughs> Says the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. Yeah. There's a <laughs> fucking no <laughs> thing that ended the my game and streak. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that. <laughs> I don't what care kind anymore. Of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah. I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen up enough oh my God. to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Nice. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Leave it with me. I'll Yay, me more potions. Finally. Dude, holy shit, I just looked at the time. We've already been playing for almost four hours. How does this game eat my time? How does this game eat my time? Well, just like that. What do you reckon? It certainly feels more flexible. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. No, no. Thank you for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. Oh, thanks. That's kind of... Ominous, the way you said that, though. Nice. We just have more potions now. Inventory increased! Nice. Oh, we can now have six potions, four high potions. Oh, nice. Epic, epic! <laughs> Soon what, Euler? The 69? <laughs> Soon. How may I help you today, Clive? You earned this. High Cleric's Medallion. Come again. Increases healing potency. Oh God! I have more for you. Goat, still alive, I see. So Lady Karen accepted the ruby. Ah, oh, about that. Uh, I tried my best, but she was just too stubborn to take it. She threw it right back in my face, in fact, and told me I could stick my stupid stone where the sun don't shine. Yeah. Karen refused payment. I hope it wasn't something I said. I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. Let me see what I can do. Oh, wonderful. I hope you have better luck than I did. Yeah, just shove it up your ass, dude. Mid told me she was building a ship. Yeah. Hello, Karen. 
Lady Karen. Goad tells me you weren't happy with our offer. But you prefer the debt was repaid in coin. What debt? I don't recall lending any of you lot me hard-earned gill. I may have tossed a talent or two in the Hardaway's coffers, but those were donations. And you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for it back. Of course not. But one good turn deserves another. And our circumstances have changed. Surely you wouldn't shun the gratitude of a pauper who happened to have become a prince. Oh, so you're a prince now, are you? Kind of technically Fine. always have been. But I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed, then you're getting the rest whether you like it or not. Amy Lou, I know. <laughs> it's not... It, I, I'm pretty sure there's common knowledge. <laughs> Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the belt of Sid the Outlaw himself and ask twice as much. Might be I already have a buyer in mind. Might be you even know her. The fine continental maid whose beauty is only eclipsed by a guile in commerce. You wouldn't mind, would you? Not at all. Just be sure to tell her that it's Had to leave for a few hours, can I ask what's happened before? For absolutely fucking nothing! <laughs> Lore shit, that's for sure. I and I died. Ended up delivering all three stones. Thanks to this lump. I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I, uh... I, uh, I still haven't been paid... Last month's wages. Uh. Oh, so you remember what's owed to you then? Get your ass beyond that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledges are square. Right away. I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of times. It was the only goblet Sid ever used, either out of habit. All because the filthy soul couldn't be bothered to find a clean one. I knew so little about him. Like most people. Martha and the dame both seem to have fond memories of him. Huh. <laughs> I bet they do. Does this game want me oh, sad? Did you know Sid before he... Before he died. Twenty summers. Give or take. Back in the day. I was a purser on a trade ship, which is where I met him. He bought passage to, I oh, forget where, but having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that, on account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close, promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was before fate stepped in and said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first name day, and there was no hiding his neck. Couldn't you and your family have? My family were the ones who summoned the constable, wanted the monster taken away. I couldn't turn my back on him, forget what I felt. And I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily, Sid was of the same mind as me. It was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me when I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could stop it from happening again and he was true to his word too left the royal army once and for all his ranks his ribbons gone just like that threw away everything he had all to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face i knew then i'd follow that man to the ends of the earth Where? Oh shit! Oh, you motherfuckers! He 
was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy, bearing that burden alone. But he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I swore to myself that I'd always be right behind him, ready to catch the stubborn sod if ever he should fall. But I couldn't even do that. Ignore me. Just the ramblings of a tired old man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto. I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod. This note. Hmm? What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. He should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. <laughs> but then, why would he? Him, or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. Would you rather go where the helm? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go, Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that's... This will do me just fine. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. Hey, you want me? You want to know something, guys? You want to know something, guys? It's a fucking side quest. <laughs> Mid told me she was building a ship. Side quests are boring, by the way. Slog.
Not important. Miraculous on damage and attack in an old hideaway. Otto held onto the featureless clay cup to remind him of his lost friend before giving it to Clive, knowing that Sid would have wanted the proud bearer of his legacy to have it. There's still so many memories! Oh dear! Well, time to continue the sad story. You know what's funny? We just had a fucking, we just had a cutscene with, with Sid. You know where we're going? Sid's fucking grave. Isn't that awesome? Yippee! Hi, Otto. All right, Clive. Asterix. We'd finished sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive? Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. What the fuck is she doing? Is that the thing Tomes helped? Obelus, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a bunch. Going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelus. Don't mention it. But why? Why did she do that? What tidings, uncle? My dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a surrounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of the strongbox with us, but has considerable knowledge of the goings-on in the free cities. Uh, which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite a valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their... Do do dockyards. No matter how deserted, and if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guilt masters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep a watch on those who might, uh, mean our little fellowship ill, and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this purpose, uh, I give this proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle. Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. Yay! She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Oh, and everything is closed off. <laughs> oh.
well, Sid. I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kukur is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If it had been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning. So we must live while we have the chance. Yeah. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Oh, hi, Jill. Ah. Ah. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Good. <clears throat> oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> you letting me go with them? Oh, oh. thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> me when I get to talk about Mob Psycho. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots's traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. Oh my God. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Buck, lad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Yes, Understood. you are. And Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? God, no! That's a fu- That was- The flag. Did you see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. Mm 
People in this game love those damn flags. True. Oh, damn. Yeah, we're really fucked. Hold on, I need to go to the hideaway real quick. I need to restock. I forgot to rebuy potions and stuff. Wait. Oh, and I have a letter! Kev is up to four death saves? Yeah. Well, don't just stand there gawping. You'll not find a better price than that. There we go. Come again! Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either, right? crystal too. Okay. About the other day, I'll have you know I ain't never shed a tear in front of Noah, not even my mother, and you won't soon catch me doing the like again. So if it pleases your lordship, we can both forget about the whole damn thing. The set I chose to follow all them years ago is gone, and I ain't no dragging him back from the depths of whatever hell he's talked his way into. But his legacy lives on. Uh, that lives on in you and everyone else here at the hideaway. As sure as the sky is blue, at least, I think it's still blue. And as long as it is, I'll be right here where you can count on me. <laughs> I love you. I need to stop saying that. Maybe I just like women. Gee, that's... I mean, that's just the truth. <laughs> How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Talia. I'm glad to hear it. And Toggle helped too. Didn't you, boy? Mark. What do we have over here? A gate? Fuck. Are you... used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars till the republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass and all official traffic moved there leaving this one for those living outside the law indeed i doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today fly ambrosia Love my train. What the fuck is this side quest now? Hello. So, what do you think? That we'd be lucky to make it out alive. Really? It's as bad as that. Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. Seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran. Leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. 
And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. Okay, these guys are totally... You, however, oh, God. have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Why did you have Chances to... Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Dude, you guys are so sus. I hope you know that. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway... You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. Yeah, okay. We're well, lucky you came along. The... <sighs> now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad... Our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. Uh -huh. we'll just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that. We'll take care of the rest. <sighs> Please, Clive. Clive. I'm not sure I trust those two. Thank God. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. No. We've got guests. Okay. These must be our bandits. <laughs> Nothing. That's them dealt with. Now, where's that card? No, please, I need to stop thinking it. I want to die. I'm so weak. Oh, there's just food in here. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. Yeah. How exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part, and that's all you need to worry about. Here. Ah. Uh, these guys are so fucking sus, it's weird. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. Ha. Huh? There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? Alright, what the fuck is this quest? Okay, I guess we're gonna see those guys again.
I see the Dalmecs lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. Hmm. The path continues on the other side. Ooh. Big hole. Ah, shit. Oh my god, you made me miss. Robots? Yeah, they were introduced like way early into the game. They're kind of like elegant. I, I don't know how to explain it. They're just weird. Oh shit! It's this area! The final sin. So this is a Mechas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in bearers. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. Then we'll have to keep our wits about us. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> the longer happy things happen, the more I become afraid. Same. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. 
I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule it. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieka made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. Anchor! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Ugh. Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a base-born child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher. I want to kill this lest bitch. your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood?
The Bok Lab Market's just, uh, just need to hug the coast. Oh, you can't just fall! Oh, fuck. Ooh, I hate that bitch. Ooh, I hate that bitch. Ooh, I hate her so much. Yeah, I hope we befriend Dion. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinsight. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Oh, we can go to the Republican gate. God. Close the road to Rundalar. If the siege breaks, they'll need more than this to stop the Imperial Legions marching on the capital. No much further to block. My God. God, the fucking noise. Ah. Uh. 
Okay, I don't Haven't know what this been is. Around in a while. Hope you are enjoying FF16 less than 3. Thank you so much for the 22 months. I appreciate it. Oh shit, uh, I angered the antelope. I'm just killing- I'm doing this thing again where I'm just killing everything again for no reason. I need to stop. I need to stop! Crystals here. We have to keep going. The crystalline dominion is our only chance. I know. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. It's that then. No traders pass. many areas to go. <sighs> if our new arrivals had brought any coin with them. The wheel and crescent. Alternatives and travelers wary of foot, parched of throat, and light of belly. Hmm. To be rich. I can't go in. find a finer array this side of the strait. The Enhancer. I've not actually used any of these. A Gilbert smile. Out of my on sight, you. French. Peaches and pears. Oh, wow. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh... How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. I am more than welcome to look. Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. 
And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? Is that Excalibur? Yes. Yes, it is. He must be around here somewhere. Oh, wow, I found him immediately. Hey there. Oh, good. There you are. Clive, I, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, Pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. Then a band bumped into me. Ah. Uh. Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. Red chocobo. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo then. And the other on our purses. Red chocobo. red chocobo. Red chocobo. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Just don't go, El. He's me mate. As I live and breathe, Goots, what are you doing? Hello, ma'am. I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. Too many pretty people in my Too many pretty people in my LGBTQ so video game. What you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me traders pass. It got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the, you're the size of a marble. Honestly, Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. No. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market. Got it. Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? 
That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all. And two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strait. <laughs> The guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. Yippee! Nice. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. Dude, the, the heat, furniture makers. The heat is Understood. beating me up, dude. It is so warm. It is genuinely, like, unbearable. Out of my sight, French! I've no use for a brand new body of Isn't it late at night for you? Yes? What does that have to do with anything? Jug of snake spit for the road. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and a wee's collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Not only is it mad heat waves, but. I can't open windows because it's the middle of the night. And also, German houses are built to trap heat inside. That's how they work. We don't have air cons. We're kind of just left to die. Better to watch your back, see? Unless chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up. Fans, you try and blow hot air into your body. <laughs> when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. On to, Thank whatever. You. We will. Again, can we stop temperature gating? Juicy pear. Can this fucking stop? It's so boring. The finest earthenware from the free city. Come taste my peaches. The sweetest. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be fish for sale, fresh sorted and smoked. Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know. Ugh. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. Oh, okay. yeah, the problem. Yeah, the problem is that I have a computer in this room. That is heating up the room as well. So now I'm sitting here in heat. 
can't open my window. The only thing that's keeping me alive is the fan behind me that's just blowing the hot air against my back. Uh... I'm laying down. I'm not... It's kind of cooking my brain a little. <laughs> a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. And yet the thing that I worry most about is my figures. <laughs> I have... <laughs> I'm like constantly like every day check my figures to make sure that they're good. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would No, I'm talking about being worried that they they like melt. <laughs> I know they won't. I think this I don't think they will. But the worry is there. They have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? I might actually have to end me. soon, because I... I'm actually, like... You won't find anything of this quality in I, I am in a fucking Look, furnace. I, and I'm gonna be honest, the last two quests, I have no fucking clue what was said. <laughs> I have no idea what was just talked about. I think my brain's turning off. Oh. I hate summer. I hate summer, dude. Oh, dude. Summer sucks. Oh. Okay. I do want to say this. I don't know if tomorrow I'm going to be streaming. I think I'm going to take tomorrow off as a forced break day. Oh my god. Ugh. Uh, I might not. Who knows? We'll see what happens tomorrow. Ugh. I'm so sorry, everyone. This sucks, genuinely. Ugh. Yeah, I know it's personal health over everything, but I still feel bad. Ugh, I just hate... Like, the worst part is, like, I could continue playing. I just... I think my brain would just turn off. I said, don't know what was said in the past two quests. <laughs> I, I just heard... Clive growl, I think, and that's... Yep. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um... I'm out of here. Um, good night? Sorry again? I'll see you... Monday? Tomorrow. Monday. Tomorrow? Who knows? Maybe I'll turn into... A, into dust. <laughs> yeah.
And then I guess you won't see me ever again. It is a mystery. Oh shit! Oh shit, guys! I can feel myself rambling! <laughs>